Hey everyone and welcome to another GT Online video here on the channel. Today we got an official announcement of what we can expect coming in the summer DLC via a newswire post, so let's go through it, shall we? Coming this summer, a new brand of vigilante justice, plus new off-the-books dispatch work for Vincent, updates to the creator, and more. In the words of Maud Eccles, the world is full of scum and detritus and it's only right that we all bear our share. This summer, it's time for some high-value target practice to clean up the roving reprobates of Southern San Andreas with your very own bail enforcement and bounty hunting business in the next major update for GT Online. Meanwhile, back in town, Vincent needs help enforcing his authority without official oversight. Get behind the wheel of your souped-up cruiser and conduct a range of off-the-books enforcement activities across Los Santos. Plus, utilize new tools and props to create custom high-octane drift and drag races in the crater and much more later this month. This summer's action-packed GT Online update also delivers a collection of new rides to covet and collect, boosts to payouts across a number of existing modes and missions, including taxi work, open wheel races, operation paper trail, and more. So it's looking like this is going to be the Cops and Crooks update, if you can kind of see my air quotes there. Probably a lot of content that was planned in the Cops and Crooks update initially will be released in this one. And instead of being official cops, we are basically bounty hunters, vigilantes. Vincent coming back from our missions is always very welcomed and kind of expected. Drift and drag races in the crater is something I've wanted since day one. The community always makes some great races and I have no doubt they'll create some awesome drift and drag races. And it's also just nice to see that they're always updating the crater in pretty much every update for the past few years now. I do wonder how big of a boost the payouts for the taxi work, open wheel races, and Operation Paper Trail are going to get because taxi work needs at least a permanent triple payout to what it is right now. Because even when they do six times taxi work money for an event week here and there, it's still not really that good. So we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. As for how long we'll have to wait and see, though, they say later this month. So I'm thinking the last week of June, which would be June 25th. That way, GTA Plus can still have almost a whole month for the June benefits when they refresh tomorrow. But I guess we will have to wait and see when it does refresh tomorrow. Because I'm sure then we'll know the exact release date of the DLC. And we do have a picture here, probably from the inside of the new business. You can see some of the new clothing that will be coming. I'm hoping we get some actual cop outfits in this update, finally. It's the perfect time for it to happen, Rockstar. Come on. One of the characters here is holding what looks like a new type of stun gun. It's got this blue and red coloring on it. The one we have in the game right now is yellow. Building on the suite of tools already masterfully employed by the community are the latest new additions and features to the creator, including the expansion of custom drift and drag races and new units in all tracks from drivers doing donuts and bouncing lowriders to crowd animations and more. Plus, testing races is becoming easier as creators can now launch tests from any chosen checkpoint and also have the option to race multiple rounds in drag races before a winner is declared. Alongside a range of new improvements designed to help the community create and share their amazing races, deathmatches, and more. So that's some more stuff that probably sounds really good if you are a job creator in GT Online. The testing one especially sounds like a nice quality of life change. And now for some experience updates. As part of our ongoing efforts to improve the GT Online player experience, this summer's update will feature a number of experience improvements based on your requests and feedback shared via the GT Online feedback website. These changes include an increased cell mission timer to make it easier for solo players taking on biker and gun running sales, snacks automatically replenishing when launching most missions, buffing defensive and armor capabilities of the Sparrow and Bambushka, and more. As we continue to monitor and balance payouts to ensure all mission types are fun and rewarding, we will be increasing base payouts for players taking part in open wheel races, taxi work, and many contact missions, which we already kind of went over. Let's first talk about the elephant in the room, the Bambushka and Sparrow getting an armor buff. Seven years later, the Bambushka might finally become viable to fly without getting instantly blasted in free mode. They say defensive and armor capabilities, which is an interesting choice of words because if it was just the armor, you would just say armor. Defensive and armor means something else, I think. So I wonder if that means a new type of countermeasure, like a lock-on jammer, perhaps, for the Bambushka? I've always said that some aircraft should have access to a lock-on jammer, however, the one thing about the Bambushka is that the guns are still busted as of right now. You can't shoot the guns in the way that you're supposed to because it doesn't rotate on the main camera, so you can only shoot it straight, which is not at all how it's supposed to work. So hopefully they also fix that if they are going to touch the Bambushka. I am kind of surprised to see the Sparrow getting an armor buff, but I'm not really going to complain about that. If anything, the weaponized Kanata should be getting a huge buff to its armor because that thing is really bad. Same with all the huge planes like the Volatile and the Alkanos, those also deserve whatever buff the Bambushka is going to get. 
but maybe that's part of the and more section. It will be very interesting to see how much of an armor buff we're talking though. If it's anything like my rebalanced bambushka that I made a few years ago, then perhaps the bambushka will finally be decent in free mode after all this time. I will of course be testing everything about that when the DLC comes out. Increased cell mission timers, I'm assuming is going to address the main problem here, the Dune FAV bunker sale, where for some reason you only have 15 minutes to get it done compared to like 30 minutes for all the other missions. But they do say MC missions here also, so there's probably also going to be some changes to some of the MC mission timers. I think it would be nice if they just scrapped the post-op missions altogether, but that's probably not going to happen. Snacks refreshing automatically sounds nice. If you start up a cell and it automatically gives you full snacks, that would be a very welcome addition. And lastly, some GTA Plus things. GTA Plus members will get the new Pepistrella vehicle for free, which we already knew. But they will get it the day the summer update comes out. Meanwhile, everyone else will get it a week later, which I know is going to piss a lot of people off. Now, I could be wrong, but I think they've actually done this before, maybe with some of the HSW upgrades they've done. I can't remember exactly right now. Anyways, that is going to wrap up this summer DLC announcement and video. Let me hear your thoughts about all this down in the comments. Are you looking forward to the summer DLC and doing some more missions for Vincent? And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. I'll of course be covering everything about the DLC when it does release, so stay tuned to the channel. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.